Welcome to Mercenary Field here in Chirac, Illinois, home of the Midway Mutants. Also home of the White Schlocks and the Flubs. Also home of the most state politicians in Jail Hall of Fame. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the NFL. The team storm the field. The Motor City Maniacs battle the Midway Mutants. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little on Tidy Pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. That play didn't work. He'll have to rethink that. Second down and ten. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. First and ten. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Pass and catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. Second down and seven. And he held on to that one for a first. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. First and ten. for four yards. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked down? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref.
First down and forever. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, right now what day is it and it's first and ten at this rate the QB is gonna have more interceptions than completions oh he just got crushed First and ten. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this act, man. First down and seven. That's a two-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. Second down and five. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And that'll be second and eight to go. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The 30. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. The offense has no 
running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot eight. Great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Third down in. The punter is warming up. One, hot two, hot three. Well, like the quarterback said, they blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. And they'll line up for the punt here. Nice punt. Should move them back. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. to the races he's hit the fort he's running out of gas now the 20 that's the way to move the chains that's good for a first down this game is all about momentum and killing the offense lost another running back and only to remain on the roster when a team loses all their running backs they lose their ability to run the ball yeah like if I rip out your tongue you won't be able to speak tell us something we don't know genius And it's first and ten. And that play went nowhere fast. No game. Second down and ten. Five yard gain on that fast play. Hey, look at the coach. He's picking his nose. You know, they shouldn't put that on the Jumbotron. Seems like every time the camera shows him, he's either spitting, picking, grabbing himself in the privates. Hey, he should do it all at the same time. Now, that would be worthy of a Jumbotron. And the quarterback calls it. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. 
And it's first and ten. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Third down and a pussy here. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. unit you know punters really do know how to party bricks yeah oh yeah i have pictures that uh well maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here and he's oh what a great defensive play that was bricks kind of like your aunt bertha this guy has some big balls what a hit yeah she does have a big pangrim you're right and that's the way to get the sticks moving he picks up five on that play Second down and five. Whenever a player gets big, oh, and the defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Banji, the new game from Whoop. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. First and ten. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Grim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. I'm surprised no one used to be able to pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Did you just say greatest tits? Well. The offense lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out in the field, they will have no running plays. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier better watch out because it gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Eight. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? First and two. Hot, hot one, hot two. play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the big six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck.
second down and two. Well, that was a good throw. Yeah, if he was aiming for the ground. Third and two. And another interception. This quarterback, now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. <laughs> and that'll bring up third. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And that'll bring up third and one. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but man, what a hit that was. Folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. Smart move there as they call a timeout, trying to get the ball back for another shot. Second down and long. And he breaks away. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit. Man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Yeah. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. <laughs> Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And he finds open space. He's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch! At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. Rip the toast! Why do we even come back and bother? This is a waste of my time! Yeah, if only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. It certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Hey. Boom! 
boomed in and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on the quarterback has had enough and calls a murder ball dirty trick to late. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. And these guys think kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Glenn. Yeah, I'm thinking at yours. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. That play didn't work. They'll have to rethink that. Second down and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 40. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease foot. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. The 10. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Glenn? The kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. I personally think the ginormous guy is compensating for something. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. down and well good luck oh the unstoppable force meets the explodable object and the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt his knitting is in palm grim that cross stitching He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, with a brutal hit. And 
And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. The 20, and the defense is on his heels. Touchdown! A vacuum cleaner can dance better than that. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitting. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. They want more points, so they're going for two. forward for the two-point conversion. And this guy has quite the female following. Listen to them. Yeah, they all want to jump his bones. I wish they'd been a linebacker when it jumped his bones. I just lost a saw buck on that play. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. First and ten. And, this, and, and he's off to the races. He scores! And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. says enough of this BS and jumps offside to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but, you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. A 
The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, man, he really wants it. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. He's at the tank. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hey. Defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Wow, he just made mincemeat out of that guy. Hey, what is mincemeat anyway? Is it like bologna? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a sandwich. And it's first and ten. Does the kid? Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to make it the It'll be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. And that's another turnover for the defense. Boom! I'm a house gamble on Shiva. And it's first and ten. Oh, with a punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Second down in a lot. They weren't even on the same page on that play. Third down and long. something going here first down and one boom and like the titanic his ship just went down hey hey i almost got that mutant bingo all i need is 77 to bite it and that'll be second down and four And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Third and four. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Listen to his fans howl. They love him. He came up as a teenage werewolf from the Mutant Farm League. I don't know if he's dancing, but just marking his territory. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. That's the end of three, and it's anyone's game. Hang on tight. The fourth quarter is about to begin. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Now, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run.
And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. You can't keep a good mutant down. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He might catch him. Move, you fat little mutant. Come to the line trying to tie this up with two points. And if they don't, things are going to get weird and desperate. And another intercept. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. <laughs> The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. <laughs> we know this quarter. And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. Second down and two. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw interceptions, but when I do, and like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Yeah, man, I was hitting on the kettle now. They all have. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot. Yeah, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. Oh, what a bone-crushing hit. You can 86 this guy, Bricks. Oh, I never learned how to count that high. for one when you could go for two. It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you're talking about points.
The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. And he punches. Oh, devastating. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. This the way you guy don't do it. The offense lost their last quarterback. Next time their offense comes out on the field, they will have to forfeit the game. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Eight. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. And here comes the extra point attempt. Hey. The kick is good. Uh, as expected, those are pretty much just... And Midway Mutants destroyed the opposition today. There's no one left to play, so they win by forfeit. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I have wounds taste just like chicken. How was it? Scrambles tomato soup. Wounds. Mm -hmm. Good. The MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.